Hey guys, welcome back to the Snapper and Chronicles. Today we're coming back at you with another Ratchet video. Uh, this time we have an SK video. Uh, but before we jump into it, if you find these videos at all helpful or entertaining, could you please give me a like and also subscribe to this channel. Okay, uh, what we have here is the SK. And this was when SK was... Uh, I guess taken over by a company called Facom or Facom. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Uh, but these came out a little while, a, a bit ago. Not 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 crazy, long time ago. But these were, I guess, um, maybe 90s. I would say. I I really didn't look into it that much, but I do know that uh, SK was taken over by a the company Facom. And Fatcom is um, kind of famous for their uh, ratchet design, which you'll see in a minute, and I'm sure all of you will recognize. Uh, this is the SK45175 USA, and this is a 3 eighths model of the ratchet and everything. The chrome looks nice, like always on uh, SKs. Usually the chromes are pretty nice. And the knurling looks all good. Looks all even from from top to bottom. Looks well done. No flat areas or raised parts and flat parts. Just all around uniformed. And the problem with this... The, this is more of a, a kind of demonstration video. I wanted to demonstrate th this Fatcom design. It's it's pretty good. It's pretty famous, but from the factory, I don't think this was serviced. And this, who knows, could be twenty years old. Uh, I just wanted to show you oh, the mistake that the company made or that people make with putting kind of like thick or grease in these ratchets and you you can listen to it it's very rough it's like very muffled and rough and it kind of doesn't spin very good and when you switch it you don't hear a click or anything you just hear like kind of grinding almost so we're going to open it up and take a look and see what we find inside uh, I'm pretty sure there's going to be a lot of grease and stuff so I'll put a napkin down to catch most of that and you're going to need a 1 8 a 1 8 uh, hex bit and this is my Dollar Tree spinner handle it has like little cheap bits in there but they are pretty much worthless but the handles okay so I can I use that and just get the screw off I'm gonna hold it down because there's a spring in there I don't want it to like pop out Here's the screw. You can see there is a little bit of Loctite there, the blue of the blue variety. And we pop up the switch. And you can see it here. You see that white? It's like some kind of lithium grease, and it's old and it's flaking and dry. And that's the last thing you want in a ratchet like this. And here's the mechanism. Here's the heart spring, which is kind of famous. Oops. In this design. It goes into the hole of the pole. And you can see how that grease 
is caked and dry and like I said the main part of this design that makes this function reliably is that this paw slides onto this flat surface and I can hardly drag it across that surface with this grease this old dried up grease and I'm kind of pretty sure this came from the factory like that you see the grease it's like all dried underneath here underneath the paw and you see that surface like that that's what's causing the problem with this ratchet is not switching good it sounds pretty bad I did catch a little bit of it slipping and I tried to uh, reproduce it but I couldn't do it again but it did slip a little bit it's like glued on there and, and this is supposed to be free like it's supposed to be like nice and smooth just no friction at all and you can see that's almost like glue on there you see that pretty bad and that's why I always recommend with with these ratchets and with similar ones always light light oil on these and these need to be serviced every once in, every once in a while you can't go unlike some ratchets like the old craftsman style ratchets where you can go like 20 years <laughs> or 30 or 40 or 50 years some of these ratchets haven't been uh, serviced and they still work pretty much these here like with this style you need to service this a little bit more often and like I said always a light oil I'm surprised this even worked at all the way the way that that grease is just it's like not lubricating at all it's just like a flaky mess and here is the paw you can see that grease is all in those teeth <clears throat> and here is the head see the f this is a fine tooth ratchet uh, I didn't count how many but I'm gonna see off the top of my head there's probably 60 or so teeth on this ratchet so again that thick grease dried grease is wreaks havoc on these fine teeth and I don't know if you you'd be able to make it out but these teeth are kind of clogged with uh, that dry grease but usually this design uh, I don't know, people like it. Uh, some people don't like it, but I think that's just for the reason I've explained where these get kind of gunked up and they start kind of like, you know, skipping or whatever or not switching properly. It's, it's because of that pull and that the mechanism is, is, is not sliding properly and needs, needs maintenance this usually if well maintained this is a decent ratchet in my opinion it has a thick the thickness here in the walls is pretty good you see so uh, strength wise I would say that this isn't a bad ratchet it's got like I don't know let me see This pole has about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, like sixteen or seventeen teeth. So I don't see a problem with this uh, holding up. You can see more of the grease on the end there. It's just dried on. Yeah, see that? yeah not good and more on this end and that's 
the biggest problem I've seen with these with these this mechanism is I think the manufacturers they kind of messed up from the factory they put grease into these I'm not sure what kind of grease but it looks kind of whitish or brownish on some parts and with time it just hardened and it made these ratchets very sluggish so if you do have one of these I recommend regular maintenance if you're using these often and use a light on don't I wouldn't I wouldn't even put a uh, super lube on these to tell you the truth even though it's probably recommended like for all ratchets I would keep it light something like I would use something like Marvel Mystery Hall on this and then uh, every once in a while keep uh, keep up with the maintenance just another look at all the mess here so yeah that's about it that's what I got I just wanted to show you guys what happens with uh with these ratchets and why sometimes they have like uh, kind of a funny reputation and uh, but kind of not deserved if these were maintained well they would make decent ratchets well that's all I got for now alright guys until next time